Well, the first part of our plan for our garden is to lay down the epoxy. We want a completely non-permeable wall and floor. So we've cleaned out our space where the grow is gonna be. We've got Zone Garage here today, and they're putting down a nice coat of epoxy on the whole floor to ensure that no microbes and no bacteria can live in all their little crevices. Come on, let's go take a look at what they got going on. Brian, tell me what we're about to do here. We are gonna come in, we're gonna grind everything. Vacuum it all, make sure it's clean. Uh, seal anywhere that we need to around the outer edges. And then of course if there was any crack, repair, everything like that. And then we're gonna take and do a base coat. with super white, make sure it's white. Then we're gonna broadcast flake, white as well. And then once that sits and dries for a few hours, we'll come back. We're gonna scrape it to give it a really nice texture. It's walkable, but it's safe. Once that's done, we're gonna vacuum it all up so there's no little leftover flake that's not adhered to the floor. And then we're gonna clear coat it, top coat it, with another super white, just to give it that white gloss. And then after that, let it sit for, let's play safe at 72 hours, depending on temperature outside. And then uh, we're good to go. The prep is critical. No matter what product you're using, the prep is everything. That'll dictate the longevity of your product. It's very exciting. We are just starting the grow room and the first thing we did was obviously cover the floors. Um, this is with a poly product. We covered tile of all things. Tile's normally non-permeable, and you guys actually manage to grind down the tile yeah. and adhere this product right to it. Yeah, and it doesn't work on all tile, the one that we had, this worked out well, Yeah, that we were able to grind it all, that when we sealed, the product actually kind of became one with the floor, which is great. The fact that it's easy to clean, mm -hmm. so nothing's gonna adhere into the floor, yeah. it's gonna be a simple clean, and you're gonna see everything. Cleanliness is the most important thing. That's the number one thing when it comes to a coating, is you wanna make sure that we're inhibiting the potential of problems coming up from the ground or areas for little critters to live. Can you adhere a product like this to wood? Yeah. No problem? No problem. So I understand we didn't go with actual epoxy. Tell us a little more about poly. Both great products. The big thing for me of using poly in this situation is the UV stable. Especially with this room, with the lighting and everything, it was key that we went with the poly for the UVs part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times we might not even add the flake to the floor. I gave it that extra little bit of texture for that reason, yeah. safety. Poly was just key because of the UV part of it. What happens if you use a product that's not UV stable? It will just start to yellow. So okay. just to keep that floor clean and as one piece, mm -hmm. rather than it being yellow by the lights, you know, nicer by the walkway, mm -hmm. this way it's just one sheet. One sheet of white. We chose to go with white, obviously, for reflection. That makes a big difference overall, normally. I've seen kind of both between the white and actually the light grays. The yeah. biggest thing is the, the cleanliness, that you're able to see it, clean it, there's nothing hidden. It's pretty obvious to what's on the floor. Totally. Um, but I've had a lot of great feedback on what it's been able to do for the plants, just the way it seals it, um, and the reflection off the white, massive. You actually can still see the grout lines, but they're completely sealed and it actually gives a really cool checkerboard look. I'm yeah. really happy with the final product. It looks wicked. Awesome. You're actually going up the wall with this product. So what we've done here with, with this room is that it's eliminated any sort of opening between the floor and the wall. So we've actually only gone up on this one about three inches high around the whole room. So we sealed it prior. Yeah. Then we base coat it up the wall then we flake, scraped, and then top coated. So it had the same process we did on the floor, but now we've kind of made it like a bowl. It's eliminated any gapping and any sort of opening within the floor so that it is sealed. So any water, if we do have a flood, 
It's literally gonna go out the door. Absolutely, it makes it easier for cleaning that you're not gonna start getting it underneath the floor, which then in time could affect any product you put down on the floor. Totally. We're this way going up, we've now eliminated that issue. So now we're gonna put the PVC panels on the wall and we have a completely airtight, watertight seal. Yep. Fantastic. This turned out awesome. Yeah. Very excited with the finish. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next step is the walls. I can't wait to get going. <laughs>